Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Caldwell. I'm the President and CEO of the Airmen. And with me today is Brett Montgomery of the Arizona Game and Fish Department. And we're going to talk a little bit again, uh, as we did some years ago, about the safe harbor arrangement uh, that's allowed Ameren to help protect some endangered species uh, here on our campus. Brett, welcome. Uh, could you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Hi, yeah, thanks. Um, so I'm the top minnow and pupfish specialist for the Arizona Game and Fish Department. And what that means is I just work in the conservation and management of uh, a handful of native fish species, but primarily I work with the Gila top minnow and the desert pupfish. And again, what that means is I just, uh, you know, check on fish, make sure they're doing okay at various locations around the state. And also I move a lot of fish around. So um, kind of like a fish wrangler. Can you tell us a little bit about those two species, the, the top minnows and pupfish and why they're in this program? Yeah, so I, I work with two um, endangered fish species. They're both uh, very cool, very small fish. Um, but as I said, they're endangered, so they need a lot of help from us. Um, and the helitop minnow is a small minnow that is a live bearing fish. The helitop minnow target aquatic invertebrates, and so they uh, can control a lot of mosquito larvae and um, other aquatic invertebrate pests that might be a problem. And then the desert pupfish is uh, another really cool small fish species that uh, I call it a little bulldog in the water. Um, they can be aggressive and territorial, um, but also have a lot of personality. Um, can you explain to people who, who don't know what the Safe Harbor Program is? Yeah, so the Safe Harbor Agreement is a program that was initiated with the Fish and Wildlife Service, which manages um, endangered fish species, and then the state government, Arizona State. Um, and we allow private landowners or entities to host um, endangered species of any kind. So that includes native fish, uh, native herpetofauna, so frogs and snakes. And so they host them on the property and uh, get to contribute to conservation efforts, as well as um, have a cool species um, that you get to talk about and teach people about through education programs. Well, it's part of our work with the uh, Texas Canyon Nature Preserve here at Amherst. Um, we're doing our best to help uh, conserve and understand and document our, our local native species. And we're just thrilled to participate in the Safe Harbor Program. Uh, we had some pupfish and some helitop minnows introduced to our pond uh, that we call bird pond if you come out hiking um, a few years back. And I know Brett was out this summer to do an inventory. So how are our population doing here? Yeah, so I will say um, your pond had some of the biggest pupfish that I have seen this summer. <laughs> um, and they're doing pretty well in there. Um, but when I tell you, they were like, is almost across my four fingers. Like that's how big some of those fish were. Um, Amarin Bird Pond is doing well, it's stable. Um, and I did catch more pupfish than we did top minnow, but they're both in there and they're both um, doing great. And how large of a population might a pond our size ultimately have in it? Yeah, you could have thousands of fish in that pond um, and you might have thousands of fish. When we come and we do our trapping, we know we're only catching a subset of the fish that are in the pond. Um, we're certainly not getting them all. And then we yeah, use that data to kind of estimate how many might be in there. But uh, yeah, your pond could have thousands of fish and very well might. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience, Brett, before we say goodbye? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm always happy to um, participate in education programs and share the knowledge that I have accumulated over the years. And um, I'm very proud of anybody who's part of the Safe Harbor Agreement program. And it's always fun to go out to these uh, new sites and um, see how well the fish are doing, especially when there's good stewards. I think the Amarind Bird Pond is a a great place for these fish to be. And you guys are good stewards of our endangered fish species. Well, thank you so very much. And we're just uh, thrilled to be able to work with the Arizona Game and Fish Department in this program. 
Thanks everyone for joining us today. And thank you, Brett, for sharing your knowledge with us. Take care, yeah. everyone. Thank you. By caring for the Texas Canyon Nature Preserve, our Amarant community is helping protect a unique part of our natural world. We cannot do the work of stewarding this special landscape without your help. Our community supports 40 to 50% of all the costs associated with maintaining the nature preserve and opening the preserve for visitors, researchers, and indigenous community members to enjoy. Thank you. If you would like to learn more about ways you can support the Texas Canyon Nature Preserve at Amarant, please visit our website, www.amarant.org.